we have traveled all over Kenya to find hard-working farmers. We want to celebrate them while giving them the help they need to improve their farms, get better yields, and build profitable businesses. We will see how farmers from across the region can benefit from our experts' advice, while also learning from each other in so many ways. Join us on these journeys and share in the farmers' experiences as they shape up their shambas. Karibu to the Shamba Shape Up Safari. Welcome to Shamba Shape Up. This week we are going digital. And we want to find out how something as small as a mobile phone can have such a big impact. That's right. By using your mobile phone, you can access so much information about farming. Let's go and find out how. Let's go. This week we are in Kajiado County. And we are visiting Stella and Joseph Njoroge. Joseph is a university lecturer. And Stella is a saleswoman. Both want to live their life in the city to become full-time farmers. Not only that, organic farmers too. So let us find out how we can help. Ah, how's the going? Fine, fine, fine. Yeah. And how are you? Fine, thank you. You're busy? Busy, yes, busy, yes, busy. Yes. busy. Tomatoes. What else do you have on the shamba? Can we yes, see? we can see. Let's go, yeah. let's go. Capsicums we also have. Uh -huh. Kale. Wow, a lot of crops. And here are the onions. Mm, they look good. Did you know, Tony, that organically grown crops can fetch a higher price at market? Yes, and I bet they taste good too. They are pigs. And there is chickens. Organically fed chickens, Tony. Which means healthy chickens and a healthy price. Well done. That's very good work. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Now, each shamba has its own small issues here and there. Mm. Mm. So, where can we help you, Joseph? I think information. If I can get information, especially with my pigs, mm -hmm. I'd be very happy. And then a bit more how to improve my storage. I have two major problems on this farm. Yes. I have my tomatoes. They're not doing very well. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it's the rain or it's the infections from the soil. I have no idea. Yeah. I would really want more information on it. My other problem is that the store is dark. The pigs are almost to farrow and we need to be checking them at night. Yeah. So I don't have lighting. We'll see what you're going to do about that and we did not come alone, we came with experts. So we are going to set up our tent and we'll call you and start working. Mm -hmm. Alright? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank see you very much. See you, later. Right. see you later. So, as the tent gets ready, it's time we started to call our experts. We have an expert on soil testing for the tomatoes. And an expert on solar lighting. But first, I'm going to see how mobile phones can be used in the chamber. And I'm going to have a look at the storeroom. See you later, Caro. Later. <laughs> Our first job today is to see if we can help Joseph with his pigs. One of them is heavily expecting piglets. Now, you might ask, why have we invited our expert Solomon from Safaricom, Kenya's biggest mobile phone company, if it's pigs that needs help? Well, Solomon has a big surprise that you help our farmers. But first, I want to find out about the problem Joseph has been having with his pigs. Well, I started this farm five years ago and it, it's been very good. In fact, at one point I had about 300 animals. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. But um, unfortunately, somewhere down the, the, the road we caught, uh, I think I learned it was called parvovirus or something. Mm -hmm. And the sows, which are the female pigs, would farrow, give birth to dead piglets. Ah, so you see now, serious. yeah, that wiped out my heart. Yeah. But as you can see, mm -hmm. pigs are still here. Still, I still yeah. want to bring, because it's, it's a good business. Yeah. So if you had known mm -hmm. what to do, you'd have saved your pigs. So much. In fact, even right now, mm -hmm. maybe I would have made you guys some, some chops because I'd have a lot of pigs. I would have eaten a whole pig. Maybe a few ribs. That's lovely. That's yeah. lovely. <laughs> now, we, we had talked before and mentioned something about how technology has uh, improved. Do you have a mobile phone? Yes, I do. Let me have a look at it. This is very important, isn't it, uh, Solomon? Farmers are yet to know the kind of impact that this phone can have to your normal agricultural practices. Mm -hmm. For instance, as a Safaricom, we have a free mobile platform called Digifarm. 
this solution, we have created it to enable you, Joseph, as a smallholder farmer, to get the information that you require to rear this pigs. Well, it's called what? It's called Digifarm. All right, tell us, what, what is Digifarm? Digifarm basically it's just a free mobile platform. For instance, Joseph here, when, when you encounter the challenge with when you are rearing uh, pigs here, if you are in Digifarm as a registered farmer, you would have gone to the learning module, mm -hmm. you would have selected pig farming, mm -hmm. for instance, mm -hmm. and then you would have learned on the different breeds, the diseases and the management practices. Mm -hmm. And uh, before you could encounter such a loss, you would have known the prevention measures at that particular point in time. Mm -hmm. So by the time you are calling a veterinary, mm -hmm. you already have an idea on what you should do about the normal treatment and prevention measures. How else does Digifarm work? We have Digifarm depots that are in different areas within the country. As a farmer, you're able to go and visit those Digifarm depots and buy the inputs from Digifarm. Remember, you can always apply for a product loan and that product loan comes to you in the form of a product voucher. That voucher is redeemed and you take the input that you want. Also, once this pig is ready for market, we are linking you to the market and also do away with the middlemen in the field. Good. And is it just for pigs? No, 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 no. Digifarm uh, covers all the value chains in the field of agriculture. So if, if Joseph would have started off his pigs using the Digifarm platform, would it have made a difference? Very big difference indeed. Because uh, if we could uh, have learned on the disease prevention, for instance, the purple virus that affected your, your, your piglets, you would have seen it or you, had, you would have anticipated it early enough. Why? Some of these uh, diseases, there are vaccines that are administered on, for prevention measures. The platform enables you to know the disease calendar. This vaccine should be administered at what time of the growth phase for these piglets. Is Shamba Shepa part of it? <coughs> Shamba Shepa is definitely part of Digifarm. Uh -huh. And we are proud and happy because we can see the impact that is creating the society. Joseph, what do you think of Digifarm so far? I'm very excited. I wish we had this earlier, or I knew about it earlier. So how does Joseph and other farmers register for Digifarm? Pretty simple. Joseph, can I see your font, please? Yes, please. Uh, just a simple verification. Is this line registered under your name? Yes, it is. Okay. So it's basically simple. What you do is just dial star. Mm -hmm. Star. 283. 283. Hush. Hush. So Joseph, now you are a digi farmer. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. I see a very hopeful future. Because now I'm sure if I encounter any problems, I'll have help. You at my fingertips. At your fingertips. Yeah. And you have lots and lots of pigs. Yes. How about those pork chops you promised? When you come back, you will definitely have the, the pork chops. But not today. Not today. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much, Joseph. Yes, Thank you. Our next expert is Judy from Cereal Growers Association. She's come to help Joseph with the storeroom. He's preparing to harvest his maize and wants to keep it long enough so he can sell when the market prices are high. Now, first, keeping a good storeroom starts with making sure the outside is clean and free from weeds. Yeah, so here, when it rains, there's a bit of water that flows this way. Yeah. I wonder whether that's okay. No, it is not okay. Mm -hmm. You ensure that uh, you guide the water. Mm -hmm. It should not come contact Near to, to the, the wall, wall mm -hmm. because it will have some impact. Okay. So ensure that you dig a trench. Uh -huh. to, to direct, direct the water. water. Oh, ah, yes. excellent. So yeah. can we go then and look, have a look inside? Sure, sure. Okay. Digging a trench will help ensure water is kept away from the walls, keeping the inside free from damp. Moisture and pests are the main obstacles to storing grain long term. Yeah, this is nice. Mm. I can see you have done the door. This is okay? Yeah, this is okay. It's strong. Mm -hmm. It can prevent uh, theft. Yes. Nothing can intrude the inside. Okay, like, like yeah. rodents. Yeah, and I can also see you have done the good drainage uh -huh. so that uh, you channel the water uh -huh. that side. All right, let's see inside then. The concrete step acts as a barrier to water flowing inside and making the floor wet. Yeah, this is a store. It's good. 
you have cemented it but uh, there are some things I need to recommend uh -huh. you need to clean it because you can see some uh, dust. leftover feed yes and this one can attract some pests uh -huh. once uh, you bring in your grains okay. again you ensure that uh, the walls are very smooth you have done very well yeah there should be no cracks uh -huh. because there are some uh, pests which can hide inside the cracks oh. even the windows are very good i can see they are strong enough that is good thank you I can see it's well aerated mm -hmm. but you also need to add a meshed wire just mm -hmm. in case there are some pests which fly like bats. Mm -hmm. I can see you have pellets, mm -hmm. which is a very good recommendation for storing uh, the bugs. Your grains will not have dampness. From the floor. From the floor. They should be away from the wall. Mm -hmm. But uh, I also want to show you about uh, storing using emetic bugs, special mm -hmm. bugs. Uh -huh. And before that, mm -hmm. let me call the Shamba Shepherd team to come and clean this store. Excellent. Yeah. Let's go. So, time I joined in and called the Shamba Shape Up team to start helping out. And here they come. First, let's take everything out. We need to get this room clean and tidy so that we can easily spot any pests hiding around. And we'll dust off the pallets too in case insects are hiding. That's it. Time for the bugs to come back. I think that looks good. Let's see what Judith has to say. Voila! We've done a good job. What do you think? Yeah, this is good job. I can see it is clean. You have arranged very well. It is well aerated. But there's one more thing. I thought we'd done it all. No, there's okay. one thing I want to teach you today right. about using emetic bags. And this is the emetic bag, which is made of two plastic bags and then a, a gunny a bag. One. Yes, the good thing about this bag once you store your mains here, mm -hmm. there's no hair which, which can, is, get can get inside. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's airtight. Yeah, it is airtight and it can store your food or your grains for long. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it is also environmental friendly mm -hmm. and also you can reuse it mm -hmm. for many seasons. You know, I'm an organic farmer. Yeah. So I'm wondering if I put the maize here, yes. do I also need to add pesticide? No. You should not uh, add any pesticide. How does this bug kill the weevils? You have to ensure that you tie it very tight, very tight, mm -hmm. so there's no oxygen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and in case there are pests mm -hmm. or weevils inside, mm -hmm. there will be no air inside. So they'll die. They'll die. Oh. Yes. Hey, if I store my maize in this bag, yes. how long can it last? You can use it up to three years. Three years or more. Hi. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. That is something good to know. Sure. Yeah. I will definitely make some money. And then I can time when mm -hmm. to sell. Sure. Because I'm not afraid that the weevils will destroy my, my crop. Good. Finally, the quality of the grain will be perfect. Ah. Nice. Very happy. I'm happy. Thank you for coming. And so, our final task was to transfer the maize to the hematic bags, as Judy recommends. All in a day's work for the Shamba Shape Up team. Ah, hey, Caro. Yes, Tony. So, we have learned how mobile phones can be used in the Shamba. And how to manage your store. But on this Shamba, our farmers are the real experts. That's right, and we've asked them to share with us their top tip for farming. The idea I would want to share with the viewers is to think of how to start embracing the idea of organic farming. Organic farming has many benefits. One, the soil productivity is increased with time. Two, organic products are healthier and more tastier. Three, the market is there. The demand is there. Let's embrace organic farming and improve our money. What a great tip. Coming up after the break. Mobile phones. How they can help test your soil. And how to charge them at home for free. 
Welcome back to Shamba Ship Up. We are in Kisarian and we are visiting Stella and Joseph. We have seen how a mobile phone can provide farming advice. And how best to store maize. But we also want to find out about what's wrong with the tomatoes. And the benefits of solar lighting. And so without wasting any more time. Let's get back to work. Let's get back to work. <laughs> Stella is very worried about her tomatoes. She's been told they have blight, and this will mean the whole crop will have to be destroyed. So, we've brought our soil expert Ian from CropNuts to see if he can check if this is true. Stella, you don't look happy. What's the problem? Things are not so good. Mm -hmm. If you look at my tomato, I think it's blight. The leaves are dry, they look like muddy. It's a whole mess. Ian, what's the problem? Well, I've had a look at the farm, mm. and her suspicions might be true but we can still confirm that. How can we confirm? Mm, we can do this through a soil test. Uh, it can tell us what the disease is All right. and what can be done mm -hmm. to rectify it and hopefully Stella to salvage something. All right. Yeah. And I've also seen that she's doing irrigation. Uh, we also test for irrigation water. Okay. There's some situations where you find a lot of soils in the water mm -hmm. and can actually cause very much damage by yeah. clogging the, the drip lines uh -huh. for your case. Okay. So it helps us advise the farmer accordingly before you start using the water. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. How is irrigation and the soil test related? Actually, these two things marry each other because the water is going to the soil mm -hmm. and the plants are also going to the soil and taking up the water. So in some situations, you can find that there are no issues with the soil, but there are issues with the water. So if you continue using the water with a lot of soils in your soil, mm -hmm. it will damage the soil mm -hmm. and making it impossible for the plants when planted to make use of the nutrients in the soil. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. So Ian, you've talked about doing a soil analysis. Yes. How is that done? How does the farmer go about that? Over the recent years, we have realized that we have a growing number of digital farmers okay. and CropNuts decided to come up with a CropNuts Facebook bot that will help a farmer pinpoint the exact type of analysis that is best suited for the farm. So you'll end up saving cost. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does it give a remedy? Yeah, it will give you a remedy. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay good. Stella, would you like to see that? Oh yes, oh yes. That, yes. Does anyone have a mobile phone? Yes, I have. This is my oh, mobile phone. That oh, was good. quick. All right. Yeah. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. So Stella, this is how the Facebook CropNut Facebook bot works. Okay. You go to the Facebook okay. application. Mm -hmm. This is your Facebook account. Mm -hmm. Then you go to the search. Mm -hmm. You can search our CropNuts official page, mm -hmm. which is CropNuts underscore AG. Okay. Then click on it. Mm -hmm. Then ah. there you are. Oh. So all you need to do is send us a, me a message. Send us a message. Mm -hmm. okay. And the bot will continue automatically. So it mm -hmm. will ask you, uh, continue as Stella Njoroge, is that you? Yes. So we can continue. Continue. Mm -hmm. Then it will direct you to our official. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, that's our lab stuff. Mm -hmm. So we click, get started. Mm -hmm. So, welcome to the CropNuts bot. Mm -hmm. mm, get soil test results, advice with CropNuts bot. Mm -hmm. So, you can click the let's go button. Mm -hmm. I mentioned the questions that the bot will be asking mm -hmm. you. Okay. So, are you, are you currently, currently farming or, or just interested? interested? Currently farming. So, you're currently farming. So, mm -hmm. we, can, we select currently farming. Mm -hmm. Good. What type of crops are you growing? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. So, mm -hmm. we type what? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yes, mm -hmm. so it will ask you various questions mm -hmm. just to get a feel of what you're doing. So it's actually something very interesting and very mm -hmm. easy. Hi so, Stella. Hey Stella, my name is mm -hmm. Ian mm -hmm. and I'm your local field okay. agronomist. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, is that me? Ah, yeah, and that's you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> it will also t talk about the packages mm -hmm. and the payment options mm -hmm. all in the bot. Mm -hmm. So please the select the package you that you like, like to get. To get. Mm. Good. For a new farmer, it will show you how to take a soil sample, mm -hmm. how to package it, mm -hmm. and how to send it to the lab. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So it will tell you the cost. Mm -hmm. Then it will calculate you the 20% discount that it may. Uh, that it may uh, so for you as a farmer, you are very? You're very lucky. Wow. Yeah. So That's quite affordable. Mm. True. So we select the package. Yes, select. So select the package. Mm -hmm. And once you're done, you can click done. Done. Uh -huh. yes. nice. Isn't that simple? Simple. simple? And it works for everybody. Yes. Yeah, so that's how the CropNuts Facebook bot works. Wow. Yes. Isn't that easy? Well, that was very interesting. But what about Stella's tomatoes? She's really worried. They might have blight, which would mean losing the whole crop. 
how can the soil test help Stella? Uh, last week I was here, Stella, mm. and we took a soil sample mm -hmm. and took it to the lab. Okay. And we have the results here. Uh -huh. So I can confirm to you that this is not blight. Wow. <laughs> Ah, what a relief. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Cool. Yes. Yeah. yes. I was worried. I was really worried. I was worried. I was worried. Mm. That's why yeah. you should do a soil test before doing anything. Mm. And when you're worried, it's mm. normally good to do a soil just soil. to confirm your doubts. Yeah. From our end, what discovered that this is a standard rot. I'm very happy because I'd already given myself uh, stress already. Now what am I going to do with all this, yeah. uh, with this crop yeah. and the money I've put into it? Yes. Now when you tell me that, that I can salvage it, mm -hmm. I'm very happy. I'm yeah. very, very happy. Yeah. Well, that's great news. Having the soil tested has saved the current tomato crop. And booking the test through the CropNuts Facebook bot will make it cheaper too. And you'll get extra farming tips to avoid problems with rot in the future. Stella will raise the tomato beds and deep plow in between the rows to allow drainage. A problem solved and all through a mobile phone. Well, well, look at this! Newborn piglets! While we were filming, the mother gave birth, but unfortunately, five of the piglets died. Uh, you see this pen, mm. or the whole pen, is dark, mm. it's very dark, mm. and the worker is not able to help the pig. Even yes. if it uh, lays over the piglets, the worker will not be able to help. Oh. So the darkness here is a major challenge for us. So it might crush the piglets? Yes, and exactly that's what happened last night. Oh, yes. That's a huge loss, it's a huge loss. Right, off to meet Christine, our expert from Azuri Solar Lights. With no power here on the farm, a solar lighting system could be just what our farmers need for the pigs and the storeroom. So Stella, you're telling me about problems with lighting, yes. especially at night. Yes. What do you use at night? We use the kerosene, the one that has a, a string, uh -huh. and that's what we use, which is very dangerous. You can imagine walking in this store with it and walking outside with it. You mentioned something about the pigs. Yes, yes. We still go with the kerosene thing there. In and the pigs, can in you the pigs. And there's wood. There's wood. Oh, they can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very dangerous mm -hmm. for, for all of us, even for the workers and for me also. We have solution to all that problem. What do you have? I've come with the Zuri Quad Home Solar System. What is the Zuri Quad Home Solar System? It's a system which is which uses solar energy. It will bring light to your home. Uh, we have the solar panel. The solar panel is the one which uh, it's mounted on the roof so that it can bring energy to the battery. Maybe you can have a feel of it. Mm -hmm. So now, mm -hmm. from the roof, the power is stored here. Yes. This is the heart of it. Yes. Okay, so now from here, how can a farmer use this to light the house? Okay, it has four bulbs. Mm -hmm. You can see there are the four signs of the bulbs on the battery. Mm -hmm. These are the four lights. Ooh, pretty, don't you? Yeah. Ooh. Also, this one is more recommendable. You can use it as a security light because it's more bright than the rest. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. So this can go to the pigs. Yeah, the yeah. pigs. <laughs> yeah. You put it on. Yeah, you put it on from here. We have this oh, one. this is the one for the outside. Yeah, you can see it's you more can put bright. put this in the pig's place. Yeah? This, this one is going to the pigs. Yes. Yeah. Mm. All right. Mm. And, and does the farmer have to switch it on using this switch here? We have two switches. Okay. Whereby you can choose two bulbs where you want to amount them with the switch. Uh, when the farmer is at home, relaxed, maybe he's tired from the shamba. We have a radio, a Zuri ah. radio, which is very powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The switch on button is here, mm -hmm. so maybe we can even, you can hear, ah. you charge it with the battery. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you. Now, mm -hmm. we, we were discussing something very interesting about how you can contact our experts yes. using your mobile my, my phone. Mobile phone your mobile yes. phone. Mm -hmm. Let me have a look at your phone because it's mm -hmm. quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah. When you're in a farm like this one, and then you hold your phone and, oh, no charge. Mm -hmm. What do you usually do? When I'm off, I'm off. I can't get to anywhere. That's I can't it. call anyone. You can't communicate. Mm -hmm. I can't anyone. communicate to anybody. Now, do you have a solution for that? Yes, we have a solution. With the Azuri Home Solar System, mm -hmm. you'll be able to charge your phone. Okay. You choose the pin, the okay. pin which is appropriate for your phone. Okay. You connect here. Remember to switch on here. 
This one? Yeah, you do, do it? it? Yes. Wow. Good. And pen. You can I charge. connect. Yeah. Is it yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It's charging. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's charging. So now she can communicate. Now, yes. Now she can get all the information she needs from mm -hmm. her phone. It's good. It's good. We have a Zuri torch. Mm -hmm. It might look small, but very bright. Mm -hmm. It's portable. You can just twist it wow. and it will light on. Eh? You can uh, see it's very bright. Yes, 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 yes. So you need to do good installation. Yeah, that's why we have qualified agents and installers to do the work of the installation. Do you have them with you today? Yes, I have them. Are they waiting for us? We start installing. Eagerly waiting. Shall we start installing, Stella? Right. Let's go for it. <laughs> The Azuri Quad system is installed at no extra cost by a team of engineers, ensuring everything works perfectly. And just in case of problems later, there is a two years warranty. It takes less than an hour to get the system installed. And not just here in the storeroom, we have lights in the pig shed too. We've given the pigs the high power light. Good. Excellent. The storeroom has its light and our farmers have their own lights, as well as the radio and the torch. Now, everybody is happy. Oh. What a shape up, oh. Joseph and Stella. Today was good, 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 good. Yeah. I learned a lot about the soil. Wow. A few nice. weeks time, I know I'll, good, I'll have a very good harvest. Wow. wow, there's light. You're happy now? I am happy, we mm -hmm. can move around yes. at night. The day has been excellent. Will you be using your mobile phone? Oh, for so many things. <laughs> like now, with my pigs, mm -hmm. I'm sorted. Mm -hmm. Anytime I have a problem, all I need to do is get it out. Really, and the help is just right there. Caro, our work here is... Our work here is done. So yes, we'll, we'll see, see you in, in the, the next Shamba! Shamba.